All right, hey YouTube. Uh, today we're gonna be doing uh, seat or installing seat covers on a 2015 Honda CRV. Um, these are the Oasis Auto. You can find them on Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but figured I'd do a little product review. So let's see what we got. So feel pretty nice. It's like a fabric with leather sides. Well probably leather sides but it feels pretty nice um I'm getting these just because um we have a dog and a kid and i'm a mechanic so my wife's pretty frustrated cleaning in a car so figured i'd get her these for seats since we've had this for uh so we got it in 15 it's 23 now so about eight years Seats are not in terrible shape, but <clears throat> they're getting kind of dingy, I guess would be the word. So, just a little, you know, a little wear and tear. Not not terrible, though. Um, so, we got that thing, which works pretty good for the car seat, but, and that thing for the dog. <laughs> but I think the seat covers will be very nice. So, first up is clean your car seat, or clean your seats in your car. Um, I think I'm going to start with the back first, just because I feel like that's going to be much easier than the front, because the front have to go and they clip underneath, and that's going to be a whole thing. I'm sure uh, get this thing off. These work good for keeping the imprints off your seats from car seats and whatnot. And put that in the back. So I'm curious to see if uh, the seats will still be functional as far as this still working or, you know, like this function still working. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of doubt it because it's a, I think it's a one piece, but it says it's a direct fit for this. So we're going to see. I guess I can see if it's going to work right now. So that's a back for the back seat. That's another back for the back seat. That's probably something for the back seat. A little headrest. Not sure. Not sure. That's not sure. <laughs> All right. So it does look like they're individual because. Yeah, that'll just strap to the seat, and that'll strap to the seat. So that looks just about like it's the whole back seat, so try it out. I wonder if there's instructions. Probably is. And we got all these little guys. Little clips to hold everything tight. Instructions. Let's see. Yep. So there you go. Should be all the instructions are right here, so should be pretty easy. So I'm gonna get cranking on this and I'll just follow the instructions and I'll let you know if anything doesn't work out as it's supposed to. Okay, cool. I think it'll be kind of hard to video it, but I'll uh, I'll I'll video anything that's weird. So before you go even go in the car, uh, just go ahead and put all your clips on. You go like this, and on the opposite side you're gonna have hooks. Um, so the the round plastic parts, the part that's gonna slip in be underneath your between your uh, upper and lower seat cushion through the back side, and then this side's gonna come around and hold everything tight. So I'll show you how these work. So you're gonna just start by putting it inside the strap and then pulling it
cool. So you just pull it through just like that so that it's on the inside of those, just like picture shows. And then for the hooks, um, it's kind of a pain to get these to go through here because they're not spread out like that to start. So spend them with your fingers or pliers or whatever you need to and just hook them through. Sorry, sorry. There we go. So hook them through like that and then straighten them out. So just do that to all of the seat covers you have uh, before you go into the car. Uh, that way you don't have to take anything back off. All right, continuing. Okay, so this is the reason I'm making a video on this. Um, this happens a lot with the universal fit stuff. Um, but anyway, to get this guy to fit through the front and out the back, I would either have to remove the factory seat cover because it doesn't, you don't see the crease in the seat in between the seats. So basically what I'm gonna do is I got this felt here. Um, and there's like a piece of plastic here that's pretty hard. So I'm just gonna cut just a slit that's wide enough for this to slip through. Um, I think the straps are sewn pretty much in line with these. I'm just going to cut a slit here and a slit here so that these can come through and attach to the hooks that come around from the front. So that way it'll hold it tight. So anyway, this is a 2015 Honda CRV. So I'll let you know if it works. All right, so the fronts actually don't clip to these. They just, I read the instructions again. These just sit flat up against the back seat. But on this vehicle, you are going to have to cut two little slits and put it through it looks fine it doesn't look bad so just be aware if you have a honda crv you're probably gonna have to do a little cutting so um and then the front hooks just go back and hook on to something under the seat so just make sure when you're putting stuff like the side straps um they're gonna have to go over somewhere around here so i just put it underneath everything and everything still works so not too worried about it but Here's the front seat, looks pretty good. So, got three more seats to go. All right, so they do fit. Uh, it's kind of a pain, but uh, yeah, they're, they're on, they're tight. They don't move around at all. They're pretty comfortable. Um, it's gonna keep the car much cleaner. Uh, if you want to maintain the functionality of your rear bench seat, uh, like most SUVs these days have, let me turn the light on. It's getting a little dark. <laughs> then you're going to have to not put this guy on, um, so that you can still pull that down. I'm not too worried about this. Um, I don't know any other way you could put something on there, but anyway, I'm not too worried about that. Um, but I did. And if you still want to maintain the functionality of your seats, you're going to have to not follow the instructions all that closely for the rear. Um, so, mine still work. Um, they want you to attach these, like, across and do all this funky stuff with it. Uh, but I think it's unnecessary. I don't know what these would actually fit, but I just attached it so that it stays on the seat. And I didn't join the two like they wanted to. Um, in the instructions, so I just attached it to this seat and then so everything still works So um, And again, you still have to cut these little plates uh, This one already broke after Folding it twice. So hopefully it holds on We'll see because uh, this these little plastic plates come through the seat and then have to sit flush so when you fold the seat up <laughs> it folds onto it but uh, same thing for that side so you're gonna have to cut in the felt here but felt shouldn't really be too big of an issue for you um, you could pull all this up and put it underneath but that seems kind of silly so I just cut that and it all works uh, the only kind of real pain uh, is right here for whatever reason this has like a bunch of extra material um, it's probably because they expect you to just join all this as one 
and I want to still be able to use my seats. So I'm not going to do that, but the only issue is this guy fitting into this little notch in the seat is kind of tight right here. So let me see if I can get that to work better this time. So you can see it's, it's pretty tight and then you got to kind of fish it out. But it does work eventually and hopefully you're not coming in and out of your, or folding your seat up and down a bunch. Because if you are, this would get old real quick. So, but you can see it all does all work if you work at it. Um, and I just joined the two with little gaps there. So, but yeah, worked real good. Um, if you think this is going to be like a super quick thing, it's not. It took me about, uh, about an hour and a half. Um, and you're kind of committed because you're you're cutting your seats, but or your seat covers anyway. Um, but you can't really see it, especially now because it's all black. So anyway, uh, this will definitely definitely keep make it easier to clean this car. Light seats are always a bad idea, but oh well, cool. But they look pretty good. And I had lots of extra pieces because I didn't actually follow the instructions verbatim because it's a universal thing. So I got some extra panels here. Got three extra panels. <laughs> so I don't know what that's for. Extra clips. Um, also make sure you're not pulling on anything too tight. Uh, especially the little straps that hook under the seat because uh, they break pretty easy. Broke two of them. I broke this side because I was trying to pull on it too hard and get it on uh, pretty tight um, and it broke off pretty easily and that side I hooked it on something that uh, was attached to the car instead of the seat so when I slid it forward it snapped right off so make sure you're attaching those hooks to the seat and not any sort of brackets on the car because those straps are pretty chintzy on there but yeah those are my only complaints and then the zippers i broke a zipper over there because i was trying to zip this up but whatever so just be be nice to everything because it's pretty cheaply made so anyway hope this helps you thanks